Armed with an engineering degree and an MBA, Manish Gupta worked in ANZ Grindley's Bank as well as Infosys before deciding to start up on his own. He wanted to create something which stands out on the global stage as a differentiated story. He decided intersection of healthcare and technology could be a potential to create big impact over there. That was the genesis of Indigy. Then the whole dot com burst happened. Followed by that, 9/11 happened. That made things even worse. But we said, what we'll do is we build what is we called a pharma services company in India based on deep medical expertise. So we had to very quickly acquire customers, deliver projects for them. It wasn't easy, but we continued to scale the business very rapidly. Then came a major inflection point. We decided to do a capital restructuring. I found uh, a family office, a uh, person called N.S. Raghun. So his family office pumped in some fresh capital into the company, and we started focusing a lot outside India. To accelerate our presence into the market, we decided to enter it U.S. through an acquisition. Right? So we built uh, capabilities with a lot of business coming from outside uh, India. That's the time when we stepped back and said, "Okay, where do we play from here?" and uh, decided to bet on. the pharma uh, life science sales and marketing area we coined this term called vso virtual sales organization we will build a sales process using technology so we build ip we build capabilities by the time covid hit we were already by far the largest standalone digital transformation partner to the life science industry so we were clearly i would say at least 15 years ahead of our time he has that incredible drive to create a company which will outlast all of us and will truly create long term impact today with more than 4500 people in offices around the world and a revenue of 1600 crore rupees manish gupta has even bigger plans for indigenes future we believe that in the next few years we can build a organization which is 10 times of its size in the industry that matters today more than it mattered in the past ladies and gentlemen Mr Manish Gupta